Guys, this is a quick and simple guide to getting started with Claude Code, both for MCPs and just tips and etc, etc. The first thing is that for installation, I will leave a link in the description of the video. Just be wary of things like WSL. If you're on a uh, Mac, then you're in luck. It's very, very easy to do. Just feed this page, page to ChatGPT and your system and ask it to help you install it. Once installed, it looks like this. I'm on WSL on Windows, so I open up a command prompt and I run WSLD Ubuntu to start WSL Ubuntu. Specify the, dis the distro. Make sure that you're not using a random Docker distro and that you're actually using the Docker, you're using the WSL distro that you actually want to be using. You can see now this is Linux, right? So the first thing is how to add MCPs. This is something that people get really confused with. The main thing to know is that all you actually have to do is run a command in your terminal and you don't actually have to add any files or anything like that. Once you understand that, it's very, very easy. I'll leave this in the description of the video. This is an example. You will have to change this if you're on Mac, potentially. I'm on WSL. This command works on WSL. Another command may work on Mac. These are not global commands, so make sure that you keep a note of all of these commands. Every time you start Claude in a different project, it will not pass on these MCPs. You can make them global, I don't know how to. Then basically what you do is you write Claude and then you can write slash MCP and you should see that your MCPs are connected. If it's not connected, you can run, instead of just writing the word Claude like before here, you can run Claude dash dash debug inside your Linux terminal and it will allow you to see the error. Feed that error to Claude code and ask it to fix the command that you gave it. So give it that command here, this command, and give it the error and ask it to fix it for your system specifically, okay? Claude dash dash continue. This is how you continue the last conversation that you were having with Claude inside that directory. So again, this is not global. Everything on Claude code is directory specific. Remember that it will save you a lot of hassle and a lot of pain moments where you think everything has been deleted when it hasn't been. Same thing, Claude dash dash resume, not global, but this is your entire convo history from that directory. So if you're having 10 conversations at once with Claude code, for example, there is a way to resume any of those conversations if you have a power cut or whatever it might be. It's Claude dash dash resume again inside your Linux terminal. Now the other commands that you need to know are inside Claude code itself. So you can see once you write Claude, it takes you inside Claude code inside your current directory, right? So before you write Claude, make sure that you CD or change directory into wherever you want to do the work, right? So if you're pulling from GitHub, you pull from GitHub first to a specific folder and then from that folder, you CD into that folder, and then you write Claude, and then you can do slash init, which reads your code base and creates a .md summary, which will be passed to all future conversations in that directory. Again, that is not global. And then the way that it works with the 200K context window, which is a problem, is you can run slash compact at any time. It also does auto compact, which passes on both your .mds, your memories, all of the stuff that you've just coded to a new Claude context window. This is not a perfect system, but it's a better system than Claude desktop where there is no system and it doesn't work. And then finally, the whole thing about the plan. I get so many questions about what plan I'm on. I am on the $200 max plan. I need that because I'm doing a lot of coding. If you want to upgrade, you run slash upgrade. Start with the cheapest plan possible. Have a play around, see if you like it. I guarantee it's the best coding assistant you've ever used. And then upgrade to the $100 plan. And then if you need max, upgrade to the $200 plan. Just some tips at the very bottom here. You have to repeatedly tell Claude how and when to use MCPs. This is very, very key. Um, you could probably put this in memory, but I find even in memory, it doesn't really do that. You will have to re-add MCPs a lot, so make sure that you store the commands once you get it working. And then read a lot of the code changes that it's doing. Don't just let it go crazy. Just read just, you know, how it's implementing things. Read its comments, etc. Because some things are pure trash and they'll completely break your system. 
So just keep an eye on that as well. I'm going to leave the video here, guys. That was a five-minute guide to Claude Code. I hope this helps some people. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.